Thank you. 
Okay, hello everybody. What is this? Oh, oh cart. Thanks for the follow, preach. The audio video test for the lab stream. Sitting, talking, playing the video game, and answering questions and stuff. From the dangled, what's the channel called? Having something specific. In lab stream questions channel in our Discord. Which exclamation mark D I C O R D? Link, join our Discord to ask some questions. Right now, we're just sitting chilling until I start at 7, so let's get gameplay on. Bunch since. Left off somewhere. Where am I at? What was this? This one. Oof, November of last year. Ouch. <clears throat> oh, who's playing? Playing the video game. That's a name. Okay. I'll play this. <clears throat> Was a dash okay what's well, supposed to be a uh, forward punch Team, I'm actually gonna be playing this for a little bit because uh, this does uh, round start one touch at three v three touch and two v two. I'm gonna be playing the shenanigans. I don't know why you're still pressing buttons at my assist, but okay. Sis got hit. I also don't normally play my main team. So I'm playing in tournament. That's 
in the land. Unfortunately. Indeed. And a reflector. Bella Brella. So this is a team. Slide assist is pretty interesting. Interesting schmitzy. Sure. Oh man, not the frame. Kind of <laughs> was a garbage conversion, but you know. Cool. Again, what the heck? This is pretty. I like the alt actually. This is really cool for a skin. Making an Easter egg like that. Really creative. Drippy, I don't know. Oh, it's a schmixie. Force a block. Oh no, my skull heart. One more once. Time for your curtain call. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Weird. I get my thing. Yeah. <laughs> Man, it's pressing so many buttons. Yeah. 
<laughs> Can I grab that? You know? I don't know why you would do that again. <laughs> I got to talk until we start. Hopefully everything looks okay. <laughs> All right, we're all right now. We're just chilling. I don't start until seven. We laughing. It's not right now. Oh, game. Oh, oh. I don't that. Oh, game, please. Looks like it's gonna drop, it's crazy. I could have lived there actually. Mm -hmm. I didn't get that. I didn't get the DHC grip. Stop me. Dude, <laughs> airborne like that. Oof. Oh, okay. I'm rude. I should Eliza. Okay. 
Oh, push block in the air, I guess is what happened. Oh, game. Oh, that's right, they took it away. Oops. Let's play Eliza. What's it? Let's see. Eliza. Let's dance, darling. Ow. <laughs> Deal with it. Ladies and gentlemen, it's just wanna hella raw tag out. Whoa. Now? George was there, didn't see George. <laughs> wow, we're in the corner, raw tag. Ah, oh, that feel, that feel, dude, man. I don't get what you want when you PBGC. That feel. One more time. That would have been hella. Did she come down? What? Gripping? What? <laughs> what in the world? <laughs> what in the world? You can't even do it. Why? Let me show you. Yeah? There is no advance after the lap, though. Okay. <laughs> you act like that doesn't work. What are you doing, sir? Please. <laughs> what in the world? You extended her box. What are you doing? <laughs> Are you jumping? Sure. Okay. Push. Your head. Max, your head. Oh. 
Imagine. <laughs> what, for the DP, dude? Please, oh my god, dude, still. Until we start, we do one more match and then start the thing. One more once. You are a childish parody of the divine. Ladies and gentlemen, it's showtime. Axe your head. Please get out of here. Oh, then I get my re re DP. You press some button, stop it. That's a wrap. All right, right here. With the live stream, welcome everybody officially to the Skull Girls. Get great live stream. I'm just answering some questions from the Discord. By the way, please join the Discord. It's gonna be a chill one. I'm just gonna be answering questions from both. Up, 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 up. So, live stream. Let's get into the live. Let's see what's going on. So, we're going on like from November. Oh, God. So, let's see here. Uh, do you have any tips from GG Skimmer? Uh, do you have any tips for using Absolute Garden PBGC effectively against characters like Philia, Bayo, Eliza, who put you into mix ups or on block really quickly? I was also wondering if you have any mid screen power resets, barring the standard, blah, 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 more Texas. Okay, that's Mubbles. Uh, parasol. I guess we could demonstrate both parasol. I guess Philia. So standard. I guess we'll uh, address the uh, vortexes. Normal things. Yeah. And you can do. Oops. Oh. Parasol. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, uh, uh. Come on, on this. Yeah. Actually, do this and do one of those. Also, this side of this one. We're still right there. Um, uh, the questions are in the Discord. They're under um, what we'll call it, uh, lab student questions in logistics. See if I can connect this. Hard to do. There's a cross up we can do. Could be cross up. Hard. Um, but yeah. Uh, what to do? But let's do rejump, rejump grippies like that. There's. Yeah, it's locked on purpose. Yes. Um, but if you want to ask, if you want to ask questions, you can you can. Uh, Ask them in uh, the GR and only channel. What up, uh, that shenanigans? Oh god, my. Uh, it's for PBGC things. Let's. Some stringies. Say that right. Actually, I'm gonna go for this. 
PBGC windows if you want to practice things. No really feel you like to do that. So like you can push block in the middle of this. Like right at the second hit, at the first hit. At the first hit's a little difficult. As they still got the pressure. At the second hit's a little better though. You have to push block kind of forcefully. Right there, it's pretty good. Uh, but it's kind of hard with timings and stuff. By the way, in the lab, if you see the green flash right there, that's that means your PBG, that's what your PBGC is. And the cool thing is when you push when you push block, um, you can hold you can hold and press down at the same time to block both standing and down. So for the duration of the push block, so you can actually focus on your, your PBGC timing. Hey, hey, hey. Okay, and if you want to practice some consistent timing there. The thing to note though, if you're going to push block and try to block um, crouching and high at the same time, you can hold down back. Otherwise you will get fuzzy guarded, which uh, what fuzzy guard looks like this. That's what fuzzy looks like. You can overhead it like that, so. But even if you push block, it's better if you push block immediately so you can block both stances at the same time. Um, but that's that's a string you can practice with Philia. Hard to step that. They will fly out. Um, let's see. Let's demonstrate with Eliza. Bill was kind of weird. He doesn't. He has weird block strings, but normally we just push block at his um, air in the string. So I guess let me demonstrate. Let's do that. Alright, so one up. Uh, have trio. Which way? Better. So yeah, let's go. Bup, bup, bup. Okay. Hey, wolves. That's the normal string they would use. Normally, just push blocking the first hit is kind of good for you. Yeah. Those yeah, strings don't really put, put him anywhere. Unless you like get yourself stuck in a block string. Like that. Uh, get great. The get great channel is for the get great event, and big great channel is for the big great event. So, either channel to for either event, just so it doesn't get cluttered. That's the tournament versus the advisory stream. Get great is the advisory stream. Be great is the tournament. That's 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 what you would PGC for that. If you uh, push block regularly, normally you don't want to push block where where it gets you stuck in a string. At that's not good for you. But if you must, that's how you would push block. How you deal with that pressure right there. So, to Eliza. Oh. Some block string. They would end right there, right? Or usually Eliza goes with uh Yeah, let's say that that's the block string. Right? Uh, say that's that's the block string. Plug right there, but then you see that was a bad. Yep. Nope. 
Right here. Right here. This one's a little harder if you decide to push right there. Right there. So it's just practicing against strings that you would you would normally encounter in play. Just you know, setting up. Uh, doing those repeatedly helps you out with your timing because you can practice different timings against the same string uh, to see which one lets you lets you best results. Oh, that one, that one goes. That one. Let's see. With resets, I still don't understand resets that much. Resets are basically intentional drops that you do against your opponent so that you can net more damage over time because and this all relates to the green bar that we call on dizzy um so more on dizzy that you have and they call this drama um but it will say what at uh 80 drama right 80 drama that's a green bar right there 80 drama so depending on how much of your green bar is filled is how much damage you're doing essentially And it affects how much how long your strings go so in order to not have this bar fill up as quickly uh and drain a lot faster um, it's quite a, um you do resets so and then you undrain your fantasy so resets essentially it's basically intentionally dropping your combo so that you don't fill the end green bar that's underneath there so every time you want to do a reset try to Continue the combo so that you can drain your invisible bar and do more damage as a result. Because every time you reset, you actually end up doing more damage because you uh, rescale your combo. Or rescale, unscale, one of those two. Yeah, but that's how that works. Uh, defense against lockdown assists. Hmm. That is not a question, but generally, uh, I guess we'll use my main team as an example for this. Uh, generally, if you want to play against them, we'll keep using Parasol. Uh, Defense against block down assists, you kind of basically push block the first hit, if I remember correctly. And there's a lockdown assist right there, so. See, you avoid the you avoid the points, but then you also deal with the assist at the same time. But in this case, you're mostly just dealing with the assist, and that's not really good for you. you kind of want to be there. Yeah, kind of want to be hitting both the point and the assist. But you can actually hit the point and get yourself out of a combo. If, as the assist comes in, so when the point gets hit, and the assist just kind of pieces out. Um, so if you try to do it at the end, kind of end up just dealing with the assist. It's not great. And you just see the point does gets away scot free. So I don't want to hit it at a point where. You want to hit you want to make sure that it's in a spot where you can actually hit both at the same time that's a little difficult um but you can actually end up just hitting the point a lot sooner than but then this way you know the getaway scot free you also hit the assist but you know but then you're back in neutral you kind of want to hit both of them at the same time there you go you want to do it like that so that you know both the point and the assist get hit and then you can it's got free and then you've got your old key pressure right there it's gonna pretty much how you deal with that same sort of thing applies to when parasol does para butchers um kind of want to push block the whole heck of para butchers because then you know parasol's gonna try something then you just bonk right out of it essentially uh so let's see here what else we got here um not sure how to explain this, but is there any way to go about punishing a land cancel? Example, a situation would be after block M chair. 
opponent land cancels and punishes M chair incoming. Blocking Bayo M chair opponent land. Punish M chair incoming. Yeah, you mostly just do that by by punishing a land cancel. Uh, it's kind of hard, honestly, um, because you would have to you would have to basically use a meaty button, which doesn't exist. This kind of case because when you land cancel, it's hard to punish. Um, because the opponent's um, block stun gets immediately removed uh, as soon as they land cancel or chicken block uh, and then they land, you know? So you can. And maybe there is a way to punish land cancel that I haven't thought of. Um, then at, at that point, it's just kind of like guessies. Guessies at that point. Hello, card. I'll have to look into that. I'll come back to that. Uh, identifying bad habits, patterns that absolutely need purging, advice on assist choices that encourage improving areas of my playstyle that are lacking and or identifying efficient DHC breakpoints. Musenheim. Musenheim play- I forgot what a Musenheim plays, oh god. Um, but like, uh, I think your first bad habit really is, uh, you press too many buttons and, uh, you leave a bunch of damage on the table at the same time. Um, but mostly you're too focused on trying to get in that you just kind of end up just not blocking most of the time or you're just pressing a lot of buttons and you end up getting counter hit more often than not um so first things first is just doing this just do this just just hold backwards do this hold backwards do this have some patience first say for that first um as for the other stuff i'll have to actually talk to you one-on-one -on -one about that because like i forgot what your team is that's my bad i'll come back to that i'll like i'll come back to that yeah. Which assists are good for helping power convert at long distances that the BNB cannot reach? Tomat. A bunch of assists actually assist with this. Uh, a good common one. Double N. We do like this. Hey, hey, and that's a long distance confirm. Uh. Other long distance cameras. Whoops. One more time. Option. option. Let's go to. Let's go. You can, you can like max range. There's enough hit stuff for this. Almost. Uh, but yeah, you want to kind of want to do this. Kind of long range confirms. That's a, a very long range confirm for Parasol. slide's pretty a pretty good one that allows her to do exactly that long distance confirms but the normal bnb cannot uh, uh another one dangled parasol because there's so much hits done actually this works distance for her oh. long distance long distance confirm here could use uh lock and load because of all the hits done that would work Pretty sure Dangle the uh, M clone would work. Man, hitbox is oof.
There we go. Uh, but... yeah. Assists like that, usually the ones that just have the furthest reach like that, can certainly do it. Uh, better if I ask them. How about, about any related stuff? Wait. You practice structuring your offense. Structuring your offense. Normally, you just kind of go off of normal BNBs that you see on the wiki, by the way. Or not the wiki, but wiki. Angle Skull Girls Wiki, repository of all the combos and data and stuff on this game. Um, uh, normally, you just kind of go off a of flowchart. Um, so, and what I mean, what I mean by flowchart is that you have your your basic B and B, which is right. Up, 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 but up, up, up. Uh, what do you do after the launch, the second launcher? So, flowchart. Uh, whoops. You do one of these and then cross on there, or. Up, 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 stay same side. <laughs> Oof, I probably can't get it after that, but uh, yeah. Do one of these. Up, up, up. Uh, if the, only the weekly star combos. I mean, nobody, nobody does install combos. That's un, un, unless you're talking to um, Headband. No, no one really does install combos. They're only just getting added to. Only just getting added, so yeah. So you can do. It depends on like what you got for your basic BNB that you can flow chart into stuff. Grippy, it does work. Grippy, but Bell is weird. So structuring your offense it kind of depends on like what flow chart you got going on first, and then eventually you can go into freeform stuff. And then you figure out all kinds of different things. Uh, depending on you know where your level is at. Go over the para robo matchup as para specifically neutral. I always struggle to chase her down and enemy grid sniper isn't something I isn't something I want to have to rely on to get close. Um, I mean, Parasol's got one of the fastest dashes in the game. I understand, you know. I think it's a dash block. Oh, dash block. Dash block. Get in, get in on the, on the dangle robo. And want to challenge air offense? This is possible. It's possible to do this. Go for JHPs. Uh, sniper, if you see them going for uh, jump, JMK. Yeah, Penpen's got um, star combos, but uh, not much else has been put onto the wiki. So if someone's probably gonna, you know, but put those on the wiki, you know, it would be cool. It's like a toss those onto the wiki. At some point. Um, that is one way to get on, on Robo as Para, you know. There's there's way. There's ways. Dash blocking. Dash blocking is important. It's the Zelda characters, because you know. You can, you can forward your advance and also block at the same time. Hey boss satisfying. I appreciate that. It is uh was it my directionals are uh crown 202c's um and all my buttons are modded sanmos that are cherry mx greens dangled modded uh but yeah so it's what are some more advanced resets for philia like i saw one in the corner involving an eldra logging foot oh mark fafnir okay so that's from mark fafnir oh sorry the last one was from small advanced resets yeah. But we'll do it on Uqua because, you know, it's the filia that's sus. Uh, advanced resets kind of entails something like this. But 
I think, I think that that's how it was this year. The Winnie. It's the Winnie. You can do shenanigans like that. I didn't get the hitbox, oh man. You do shenanigans like that, you can also go the other side. And do shenanigans like that. Uh, other advanced nice reset. There's that. Um, other things in the corner. Uh, uh, this is a pretty easy one, but actually most people fall for it. Um, you can get a thing going. You can do a uh, car cancel. And do sh shenanigans like that. Um, yeah, there's there's a bunch of affiliate things in the corner that you can do. Um, if you're if you're smooth smooth enough, and you're like slightly in the corner, if Fuku's like out of here, you can do a cross up and get the same side at the same time. Um, that's a beginner's 50 50 right there. The fun stuff. Um, but yeah, those are, those are like some of the more advanced things in the corner. By the way, all Philia players who uh, play the Dango Philia, Philia Group, um, do this reset. Do this reset. Do, do that reset. Interesting. Do this reset. As you can actually uh aim side it all the time. Uh, 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 uh. This is repeatable very easily. You keep hitting people with it, it's always good. Um do that reset. That resets fun. Really things. Uses the PVGC uh Probably not get into that, just yeah. You know, I have trouble understanding why I'm getting hit. <laughs> not, not questions, but I'll, I'll ask for more. more do, do one more question and then we'll. Oh, tonight. How to make Peacock zoning tighter. How to make. Play out the mid screen with Peacock. So I'm not a Peacock man for sure. Because I don't. Peacock. I don't Peacock things. I'm not a Peacock man. Yeah, these are just a nice ask. Yeah. So. Normally you want. You want the tightest timing. It's, you want to do this. Yeah. Normally you want to do that. Um, you want the tightest timing possible. Um, but you can also vary this up a lot. It's like. You can have it so. Uh, make sure that they don't die. <laughs> That with hold. Or not hold. Recall. It was, it was how to make how to make a peacock zoning tighter and how to play the play off the mid screen with peacock. The bread and butter of zoning. Okay. 
But you might as just want to practice this. Just to hold the mid screen, you know. Again, I don't play Peacock, but I know Peacock things. Uh, look at George go. Look at him go. Um, yeah, mostly this is kind of like the tightest timing you can get. The goat, dude. He's such a goat. That is type impossible. That's definitely how you do that. Um, but you play the peacock uh, in the mid screen. I actually don't screen things for the peacock, so you know I'll have to get back to you on that. But yeah, honestly, if you're gonna do mid screen things, it's just this: hold the 50-50, hold the 50-50. Ultimate 50 50, <laughs> basically. Or, right, you know, mid screen, there's a walking George. Oh man. Man, here's the mid screen and the full screen. You just kind of do that in the entire time. Confirm with Jade and standing heart punch and stuff. Yeah. So you just kind of hold this. Oh man, look. 50 50. I hold this. Oh man, look. 50 50. And hold this. 50 50. You just kind of do that. Or this, do the the nail shadow. And just be like that bit. Was it walk? But all that. That's a whole thing. That's some heck and finger twister. But yeah, you can play out the fifty fifty that way. You know, and hold this. Confirm. Wow. Uh, it's kind of how you it's really just kind of how it goes uh in the video uh but can also refer to you to other peacock pedal players that so you know like doppler or like i can uh what's her name i forgot their name in the discord but there's a couple of peacock players that can tell you a little bit better like even doc could probably tell you better than i could yeah uh let's let's see here mm, a little bit of yeah well, well we'll call it there for now I got things I gotta do. Thank you everybody for joining me on this uh, dangled, ladled lab stream. We'll do some more questions later. Like to more Skull Girls from Wednesday. There's already Skull Girls uh, B Grid every Wednesday at 8 p.m. And Skull Girls Get Grid every Saturday at 7 p.m. East. So it's uh, the last Saturday of the month, then it's a lab stream. <laughs> Stopping by, we'll uh, see you all next time. Bye, everybody.